so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey! Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi! Why don't you go to get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Whoa! Look at where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse, and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look! This is where cow dogs stay. <laughs> Here's another one. Ah! <laughs> come on! Oh, and another one! Look! Come here! Must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look! Hello! No one's in there! <laughs> Look at this! Hey! No, really! Hey! This is hay! And it's so tasty looking! <laughs> Just kidding! Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans! Whoa! <laughs> Do you see that? Look! Take a really close look! Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! is where the livestock go, right over here, to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> Whoa! It's like a wheelbarrow, but it's really flat. This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay, one last place. Come in here. Whoa! This is the tack room. Look! Whoa, all these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. <gasps> yeah! This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. Oh, oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then we also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, 
Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tap. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle to put some cushion mm. for the horse. <laughs> the saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse after the pads, and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the head stall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this. And then over its ears, like this. And well. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Whoa. Okay. Well, here I go. That's a good ride. Thanks. Here I go. Whoa. This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. That was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Now that's a big machine. Woo! Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family. Hey everybody. <laughs> he'll show you around. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's, it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow 
and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line, it'll stop. Come on here to the back. In the back, we have a giant water tank right here. This is full of water. It's about 1,100 gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right, so now we're on the inside of the skidgen. Let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. Today, we're at Party Jungle in Phoenix, Arizona, and we are going to have so much fun today. Come on! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check it out! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Ooh, I am really excited. Ooh, check there this you go. out. Have fun. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Wristband and some tokens. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, -bye. Bye. we'll put these in my pocket for later. Ooh, let's ride a ride. Whoa, look at this. What kind of animal is this? Yeah, it's an elephant. Will you act like an elephant with me? <laughs> Elephants are so big. <laughs> okay, let's ride. Okay, here we go. Ride. And so much fun acting like an elephant. Let's go ride some more rides. Check this ride out. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, these look like swings. Do you know of an animal that loves to swing from trees? <laughs> yeah, monkeys love to swing on trees. Let's act like monkeys. <laughs> okay, all right, let's hop in. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's take a seat. Oh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's get buckled up. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, I am having so much fun. Ooh, I'm kind of getting hungry. Oh no, look, I'm stuck. Hey, let's act like monkeys to get out of this. 
Getting kind of hungry. Oh, are you hungry? Let's go. Ooh. Let's get some snacks. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Can I please have some animal crackers? Of course. Ooh, animal crackers. There you go. Yum. Thank you. Okay. Let's find a place to sit. Hmm. How about right here? <laughs> oh, let's open them up. Whoa, so many animals. Let's set this right over here. Wait a second, what's this? It's a dog. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we eat our snacks like how a dog eats? Do you know how a dog eats? Yep, with no hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's see what else they have around here. Whoa, this place is so cool and colorful. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, check it out. Miniature golf. Whoa. Hey, here we go. Two size clubs. Do we want this one or this one? Let's do this one. Let's just right for my size. So we have a blue club and an orange ball. My two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. All right, get ready. Oh, wait, wait a second. Do you see this? What animal is this? This is a zebra. Whoa! Black, white, black, white. Hey, did you know zebras are actually all black with white stripes? Interesting. Oh, oh. oh can't forget these. Oh, whoa! A hippopotamus. Whoa, that's silly. Let's act like a hippo. <laughs> Hippos are really big. They love the water. And they love the land, too. Pretty interesting. Ooh, all right. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, I almost made it. Whoa! Look! Oh, this is a horse. Yay! Yay! Hey, horsey, how are you? I love horses. They're so nice most of the time, and they love to gallop. Hey, let's gallop this horse. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put this horse right here, because we have another ride to go into. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Come on. Whoa. Hello! <laughs> That's silly. Hello! Hi, oh, come over here. Hello, how are you two? Good. Oh, very good. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Whoa, hello, how Hi. are you? Good. High five. Woohoo! Okay, my turn. Okay, let's sit in here and then put the chain on right here. Now we're ready to go. <laughs> ah! Choo choo, here comes a train. Choo choo, ah! here comes a train. It's rolling on the tracks, gonna get there fast. Yeah. Choo choo, here comes a train. I can spend Hello. watching you go. Choo choo. Oh, all across the country there are many train tracks and <laughs> I can only imagine how much fun I'd be having if I was riding on the caboose. That's the back of the train. I try to count all the train cars, but there are That was so much fun! Whoa! We love party jungle! Awesome! 
choo choo! <laughs> oh, let's see what else there is around here. Whoa! <laughs> a jungle gym! Whoa, look! Whoa! A cute little animal! Hello! <laughs> this is a sloth. Did you know that sloths move really slow? Here, come on, let's act like a sloth together. Okay, how you act like a sloth is you just move really slow. Ready? Three, two, one. Have you ever seen a sloth swim? You should look it up, it's hilarious! Sloths move really slow on land, but when they swim, they swim really fast, like three times faster than they move on land. Whoa! Oh, hey, this area, you have to take off your shoes. So, let's take off my shoes. There we go, one, two, whee! Come on! Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, this place is awesome! Whoa! Look at this place! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wee! Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Whoa! What animal is this? It's cute! It's black and white! It's a penguin! Whee! Let's act like penguins together! Okay, all you have to do is waddle! Whoa! Waddle, waddle, waddle! Waddle, waddle, waddle! <laughs> okay, okay, let's put my shoes back on. Let's play some arcade games. Oh, oh geez. Oh, okay. Let's check this out. Whoa. Look at this game. Ooh. All right. Let's put in a coin. Let's take the hammer. Get ready. Oh. <laughs> Awesome! <laughs> See, you have to hit them when they come out! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It's getting trickier! Two of them are coming out at a time! Whoa! 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 I'm getting tired! Whoa! Three of them are coming out! Whoa! Whoa! I got him! Whoa! 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 That was so hard! Okay, what other games do we have? Oh, I know of a game. Here, come right over here. Dance Dance Revolution! Woo! I'm really good at this one. Get ready. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's like I'm swimming! Because I'm riding a fish! Whoa! Oh, good job! Whoa! Oh, that was so tiring! Oh! Oh, another ride, come on! Ooh, 
Okay, here we go. Ooh, perfect. All right. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, this ride's pretty cool because you get to spin around. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm ready. Horsey. Whoa. hanging out at Party Jungle with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. Well, fun hanging out with animals with you. Bye-bye, whoa! Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. Oh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Yeah, look at what I'm doing. Whoa, I'm roasting a marshmallow. Yum, I'm gonna make a s'more. Yum. <laughs> yeah, tonight I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> I had a very healthy dinner. And now I get to make some dessert. <laughs> yep. And if you ever get to roast marshmallows, you definitely should be with a grown-up, okay? Yeah, because fires are dangerous. But hey, I have something really cool to tell you. Yeah, this safari park has what's called a roaring snore. Yeah, it's a campground at this safari park. You can spend the night with the animals. Oh, look, the marshmallow is done. This is gonna be so yummy. Hey, should we go check out the tent? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Woo! I am so excited to go to bed. Ooh, campsite 22. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I just brushed my teeth. It is very important to brush your teeth before you go to bed. Wow, look at the tent. It looks so cozy. Hmm, should we go inside and check it out? Yeah. <laughs> look, Flippy bedtime stories. Do you ever read before you go to bed? <laughs> I do. I love reading before I go to bed. All right. I should probably get in the sleeping bag. So then after the story, sleep. <laughs> All right. Whoa, what a comfortable bed. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Flippy bedtime stories. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Okay, let's see here. Page number one. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a, a large and colorful zoo <laughs> with so many animals different from me and you. <laughs> Some were big, <sighs> others, <sighs> others small. <laughs> Some, some went squawk. <laughs> some went squawk. <laughs> some, <gasps> some, some went. Whoa. Check it out, an animal. Wow! hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Laura. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Flippy. What I'm do you Flippy. do here? I work with the animals here. I'm a wildlife care specialist. And these are some of our animal ambassadors here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Wow, cool. And I know what kind of animal this is. This is a porcupine, right? Yes, this is an African crested porcupine. You can oh. see her crest right over her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello. And what's her name? Her name is Quilma. Oh, 
Oh, Quilma. Oh, maybe because it has a lot of quills? Yeah. Oh, really cool. They look really sharp. What are they made out of? These quills are actually made up of keratin, just like our hair and our fingernails. Oh, wow. Well, my hair isn't sharp like these, but I guess if they become very dense, then your hair and nails can be really sharp like these. Wow, what is she eating? So Quilma's eating some biscuits because mm. she has really sharp teeth uh -huh. and her teeth are always growing. So she eats a biscuit and it helps her to keep her teeth kind of a little bit shorter. Oh, that makes sense. So you and I, when we grow our teeth, they stop and then they're the size that they are. But Quilma, her teeth keep growing and growing and growing. And so she needs to eat things to trim them down to stay nice and short. Oh, she has some cute ears. Hey, Quilma. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and looks like the quills are white and black. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of predators in Africa, so Quilma has to protect herself. So when she feels frightened, she can lift up all of those quills and she looks a lot bigger than she actually is. Oh, wow. Cool defensive mechanism. Hey, and does she shoot out her quills? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think she shoots her quills, but she doesn't. That'd be like us shooting our hair right off of our head. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa, cool. Another animal. Whoa. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Nolani. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Blippi. you. Whoa, I know what kind of animal this is. This looks like a really big hedgehog. Ooh, that's a really good guess, but this isn't actually a hedgehog. Really? Right, instead it's an echidna, and they're native to Australia. Wow. Can you tell though? It kind of looks a little bit like Quilma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Has those really sharp quills. Are those quills just like the porcupine? Another really good guess, but they're not quills. Instead, oh. they're actually spines. They do sort of the same thing though that Quilma's uh, her quills do. Uh -huh. So instead, uh, they are attached to his body and they help uh, if a predator were to come and to bite down, try to make him lunch. Mm -hmm. um, they're just as pokey and it's not really fun to bite oh, into. Cool, mm -hmm. so another great defensive mechanism. Absolutely. Whoa, mm -hmm. and it looks like his nose is really long. It is, so he can use that nose to sniff out bugs underground. And you can see right now he's eating a bug soup. Uh, so uh -huh. that's what we feed him here at the safari park. He's Ooh. also using that really long tongue of his to slurp it up. Ooh, <laughs> yum! Mm -hmm. So is this a mammal? It is a mammal. So this guy is a mammal, but he does a lot of things that other mammals don't really do. Really? Like so what? So instead, other females, not Shaw because he's a boy, uh, would actually lay eggs which is really, really weird, right? Yeah. Most mammals don't do that. Instead, uh, they give birth and then they feed their babies milk. So these guys also feed their babies milk, but they lay a sort of soft leathery egg, sort of oh. like other reptiles, but they're not. Um, and instead that baby hatches and it's born without any of these spines. They're really, really soft. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're known as puggles. Puggles? Mm -hmm. That's a silly name. It is. That is really cool. I've actually never heard of a mammal that lays eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really There's cool. actually one other one that does. Oh, mm -hmm. what one? The platypus. Whoa, I know what a platypus is. Yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for teaching me about this animal. No problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check it out! Looks like we have a couple more animals. Oh, and look! Looks like a turtle or a tortoise. Yeah, it definitely has a very hard shell. Oh, and look at these animals. Hello! They look very soft. Hard, soft! <laughs> All right, let's learn about them. Whoa, what kind of animals are these? These are called tamanduas. Oh, Tamanduas. That's a really cool name. They kind of look like an anteater. They are an anteater. Oh. They're actually known as lesser anteaters. So we have the giant anteater that's a lot bigger, and then a silky anteater, which is a lot smaller. They're kind of the mid-sized version. Okay, and they're black and white. They kind of remind me of a skunk. Are they stinky? They are 
really stinky. Oh. They actually can smell a little bit worse than a skunk. Really? They're known <laughs> as the stinkers of the forest in South America. <laughs> That's silly. And what are they eating? They're eating what we call bug soup. So it's one of their favorite things here to eat here at the safari park. Oh, so they like to eat bugs they, and insects? They do. So I have some bugs also. Let's see if oh. they want to eat these bugs. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they do look hungry. Whoa. Oh, and it looks like you have a lot of pieces of wood here, and it looks like they're all torn up. Why is that? That's one of their favorite things to do, is to tear into the wood with their really sharp claws and then they find the bugs and they use their tongue and they stick their tongue down to slurp all those bugs up. Wow, that is really cool. Flippy, they have a really long tongue. Oh, they do? It's about 16 inches long. Whoa, that's probably like that big. That's really long. Isn't that about the same length as a giraffe? It is, giraffes wow. have really long tongues and wow. so do the tamanduas. Let's see if she wants to show you the tongue. Okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Yeah, so these animals' tongues are about the same length as, as a giraffe's tongue. But yeah. theirs are really sticky, so oh, all of those bugs will stick to their tongue. Oh, yeah, and it looks like they eat downward into the, the ground, holes, wood, while giraffes typically eat upward and try and grab leaves. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, hey! You're really cool. Oh, and it looks like they have some claws or you. They nails. have really, really, uh, their claws and nails. And they use those to tear into things and they also use it for climbing. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So then they can wrap their hands around branches maybe. Yeah. Do they live around the trees? They do. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees oh. and they use their tail as an extra arm or leg to climb. Whoa, that was really cool learning about them. Hey, what are their names? This is Cora, and Cora is the, the mom of this baby, and his name is Tatis. Oh, well, nice to meet you two. <laughs> I'm gonna go learn about the turtle or the tortoise. We'll find out. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. Hi there. Cool. Hey, so who is this? This is Sita, and you're right. This is our tortoise. Oh. And he is specifically an African leopard tortoise. Ooh, African leopard mm -hmm. tortoise. Yeah. Ooh, do they call it that because it kind of looks like a leopard? Exactly. So it sort of looks like the spots of a leopard. But this actually helps him to blend into his uh, environment out in Africa. So oh. out in Africa, there are a lot of dark browns, light browns, lots of dirt that he mm -hmm. can blend into. And from there, he can actually cover his shell with that dirt and sort of look like a dusty rock. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. Cool camouflage. Absolutely. And rocks are really hard. Is he also really hard? He is. You can yeah. actually touch him and feel really? it if you like. Wow, cool. Is he tough? Yeah. Wow, he is very hard. That helps to protect all the other soft parts of his body, too. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Full of defensive mechanisms. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, can he like leave his shell or go into a shell? He can't leave his shell. It's a part of his body. Okay. So, what he does is he'll actually pull all of the soft parts, like his head, towards his shell. He'll push his neck in. I'm going to push his legs and his arms towards his body, towards his shell. Um, and from there, he can also use these really sharp scales that he has, just in case a predator did want to try to take a bite out of him. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and speaking of taking a bite, Looks like he's hungry. Yeah, What's he, he eating? Is. He's eating a salad. It's full of lettuce, carrots, and turnips. Uh -huh. But out in the wild, he's a plant eater, so he is herbivorous. Wow. So he'd be eating grasses and all sorts of different plants. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. So this tortoise is a herbivore. That means he eats plants. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, hello. <laughs> so is he full size? He's not. He's actually going to keep growing. Right now, Sita is 20 years old. Wow. But African leopard tortoises, they can get to be 50 years old. Wow. Really, really old. Uh, so from there, they just keep growing and growing. So Sita is about 30 pounds right now. Oh. He'll probably get around 50. Wow. Wow. So okay. Sita might be 50 pounds someday. Yeah, I think. And 50 years old. Mm -hmm. 50 years old is very, <laughs> very old. <laughs> wow. Well, it was really cool meeting you. Thank you. Yeah. See you later. See you, Sita. <laughs> All right. Bye bye.
check it out. Look at this bird. Oh, hello. <laughs> what kind of bird is this? This is called a hyacinth macaw. They're found in South America, and his name is Lightning. Wow, South America. Whoa, and he is such a pretty blue color. That's one of my two favorite colors. Awesome, yeah, he's blue because it helps him to camouflage up in the tops of the trees. All the tops of the trees provide a lot of shade, and so the blue helps to mix in, and you can barely even see him. Oh, wow, but you could probably see that bright yellow, though, maybe. Yeah, that yellow color that he has is to help to care for his babies. So when a macaw has a baby bird, they put them in a nest, and when the mom and dad come in to feed them, they see the yellow eyes, and that's how they know it's their parents. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Well, he is very pretty, and his beak looks really sharp eating those seeds or nuts that you're giving him. He does have a really big beak. I'm gonna give him a great big nut, we can watch him crack it open. Wow. There's even a type of nut in South America that only the hyacinth macaw can crack open with that big beak. Oh, really? Wow, so it must be a really strong, sharp beak. It really is. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah, and nuts and seeds are healthy. <laughs> so this bird is nice and healthy. Ooh, what's this? That's a target stick. One of the things that we do with our animal ambassadors is training. So we have trained Lightning to touch his nose to the ball of that stick. Oh, really? It's called a target. Oh, really? Target. Whoa, okay, okay. Good job. You wanna try it again after those yummy snacks? That was really good. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Here you go, target. <laughs> Whoa, that was really cool. Wow, and how old does this bird get? Hyacinth macaws can reach about 60 to 80 years old, and Lightning is actually 34 years old already. Whoa, that is really old. Whoa, <laughs> what a cool bird. Well, it's definitely nice to meet you. Wow, this bird is awesome. I love how it's the color blue, and then there's some yellow around its eyes. Wow, and I bet this bird can fly really fast and really high. Wow. Ooh. And it's cool that he eats nice and healthy with the seeds. Whoa. Whoa. Check it out. Did you see this bird just fly in? Wow. This is such a pretty black color. Ooh, and look at the beak. It's nice and white. Wow. And it just flew in so fast. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to fly like a bird? Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Yeah, check it out! This is a zip line! And zip lines are where you wear a harness, so then you're nice and safe. Then you attach to these metal cables, so then you can go from the top of a hill all the way down to the bottom, and it'll feel like we're a bird! Ha-ha! Woohoo! Let's go fly! Whoa! Whoa! All right. Oh, thank you so much. This is Brandon, and Brandon is just making sure that I'm nice and safe. Yeah. To ride the zip line, you have to be at least eight years old. Oh, Brandon, I can't get this. Can you help me? Thank you. Yeah, you have to be at least eight years old, at least 60 pounds, but you could weigh all the way up to 300. All right. Am I ready? Wow, so exhilarating. Yeah, it really felt like 
I was a bird. <laughs> I'm actually kind of getting really tired. <sighs> hmm. Wow, oh, that was great. Oh, I love animals. Wow, so many different types of animals. Yeah, and birds, so cool how they can fly, right? Yeah, flapping their wings, feeling so free. Wow, hey, why don't I read you another story? <laughs> okay, all right, this is the story of all those animals that sleep when it's light, but come out at night. Hmm. Oh, when we, oh, when we go to bed, when we go to bed, they, they, um, when we go to bed, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Lauren. Oh, nice to meet you, Lauren. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? I am a tour guide here at the safari park. Whoa, a tour guide? Wait, so do we get to go on a tour? We sure do. We are going on a night vision tour. Oh, that's what these are, night vision goggles. Oh, exactly. so we can see the animals? Wow, cool. What kind of animals are we going to see? We are looking for nocturnal animals. Oh, yeah, those are animals that are up and awake during the nighttime. <laughs> I am so excited. Shall we go? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. This is so cool how you can see through these things at night. Wow. Whoa, so this has night vision and infrared? They have both. They help us see even better at night. Wow, cool. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool being able to see at night. Yeah, some animals can see at night without these. <laughs> Whoa, birds! Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, are those flamingos? This is a large colony of greater flamingos. Wow. Oh, yeah. And they are all the color pink. You know why they're pink? They are pink from the food that they eat. They eat a lot of shrimp-like crustaceans that help turn them the color pink. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, and they're all standing on one leg. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Wow, this is so cool, being able to see these flamingos at nighttime. Wow. Wow. Look at all the flamingos! Whoa! Whoa, now they're all running! Whoa, they're very active at night. Whoa, this is so much fun! Hey, what do you like to do at work the most? What's your most favorite thing for your job? Because it's so cool that you work with animals. I think it's so fun to show people animals they've never seen before in real life. Yeah, especially the animals that they've never seen because, yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, what's your favorite animal that you have here? Thank you for asking. It is the southern white rhinoceros. Whoa. And they're, why do you like them? They are so big and beautiful, and they remind me of puppies. Aww. <laughs> That's so silly. A rhino remind you of puppies? That's cool. Is that your favorite animal in the whole world or just here? in the whole world. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. Oh, whoa, look. Yeah, a rhinoceros. Wow, what kind of rhinoceros is that? This is a southern white rhinoceros, a mother and her baby. Oh, that is so cute. Southern white rhinoceros. Oh, yeah. That's your favorite animal in the world, isn't it? It is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at her. They look so big and strong. Are they up at night quite a bit? 
They do get up, but they feel very comfortable and safe when they're sleeping with their family members. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Do you know how much they weigh? They can weigh up to 5,000 pounds. Wow. That is very heavy. They probably have to eat a lot of food every single day then, huh? They have to eat tons of food. Even when the babies are born, they're almost 100 pounds. Oh, wow. That is a big baby. Whoa. <laughs> Hello, Rhino. <laughs> wow, check it out. Rhinoceroses are so cool. <laughs> hey, look, Flippy. Uh-huh. There's a giraffe. <gasps> oh, yeah, you're right. <gasps> oh, and look, there's a baby. Whoa, hello. <laughs> They're so tall. Well, isn't it cool how these animals are up at night while you and I sleep? Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of tired. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, all those animals are so cool. And it was so cool that some of them were nocturnal, huh? Yeah, that means they're awake at night. Yeah, when you and I sleep, they're awake. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, hey, why didn't I read you another story? <laughs> oh, I love reading. <laughs> okay. A rumble in a tummy, a common animal mood. <laughs> to grow big and strong, <sighs> they need good food. <laughs> so open wide. <gasps> so open wide. <sighs> Hope you're. So open wide. I hope you're. I hope you're hungry. Whoa! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Eileen, and oh. I'm a wildlife care specialist. Wow, that's really cool. Well, I'm Blippi, and what are you doing? I am getting ready to make some bottles so we can feed some baby animals. Whoa, that sounds like fun. Can I help? That would be great, Blippi. Okay. Do you want to make this first bottle for the spring box? Ooh, sure. So what I need you to do is to measure out 150 mils. Okay. And then put it in the bottle. Oh. Here we go, 150 in Springbok. I'm so excited to see what kind of animal that is. Okay, first, we need to measure it out. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, a little too much. Pour some out. There we go. That's exactly 150. Awesome. So, I'm gonna put it right in here. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a small animal. Yeah, because this bottle is really small. It is, and it's a very small amount in there. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Blippi. All Let's right. Just put the nipple on. Okay, perfect. And what about this big bottle? <laughs> that, that's for a much bigger animal. And so this formula, we this bottle we're gonna make from scratch right wow. now. All right, how do we do it? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some, some water in the container, about 2,000 milliliters, or Two liter. Okay, so looks like we have to fill it all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> That's a lot of water. I bet this animal is really big. Whoa, about halfway there. <laughs> so excited to see what animal this is. Okay, it's getting really heavy. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, we have the water. And we're gonna mix it in this container, so you wanna pour the powder in there. Oh, the powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix the powder with the water. All right, do I pour all of this powder in there? The whole thing, yes. Okay, here it's we go. It's a big amp. All right, there we go. And then, okay, the powder's in there. Now we need to pour the water. Whoa, <laughs> spilt a little bit. That's okay. All right, there we go. All right, now do I shake it up? Shake it as hard as you can, Flippy. You're going to get right. a really good mix. Here we go. All right. That was great. Perfect. Now, do we put it in the bottle? Yes. 
You might need to use this though, it's a lot easier to pour. Perfect. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. That smells really good. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah, here we go. All right, all right, here you go. <laughs> and then we warm them up. Oh, and after they're warm, then do we get to feed the animals? And then we get to feed the animals. But <laughs> just today, I actually have a few bottles that are already warmed up, so we can go ahead and feed them right now. All right, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so excited. Whoa, check it out. Whoa. <laughs> so are these the small animals? They are. Wow. It's a little bit of a variety. This yeah. is a springbok. This oh. is a bontibok. Oh, hey, springbok. This spring is a box. Nile lechway. Okay, so it seems like there's a few different kinds there. Yes. A springbok, a monty way? A, a, a bontibok. Oh, a bontibok. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. And this is our older, oldest springbok. She is um, about six weeks old. Wow, and she looks so hungry. Yeah, yeah we you. did such a great yeah. job with those bottles. Oh, Whoa. let me hey. get the right bottle here. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, and do you see that one? Yeah, it has yeah. horns on its head. Whoa, is that right? That, yes. Those are horns? Those are horns, and they're just growing. Oh. And the female Bontabuck has horns just like the males. But in the Oh, wow. And do they like to eat those leaves? They love to eat the leaves. We call it browse, and this is acacia browse. Oh, hey! Now, really, when springboks are out in the wild, uh -huh. they eat grass and they eat uh, plants. Whoa. But they don't really eat trees. The oh. bontabok loves the trees, too. <laughs> okay. Wow, they look so hungry. But the one thing they all <laughs> have is in common is they're from Africa. Oh, they're from Different Africa. Africa. And can they, like, run fast or smell good or like jump high or anything like that? Springbok got their name because they jump very high. They, they say they can jump as high as 11 feet. They spring up in the air. Whoa! They have a very weird posture to it too. So when they're running away from someone that might be chasing them, uh -huh. they look bigger. Wow. So they spring up in the air and they also have this really strange flap of skin back here oh. that when they're very excited, it will open up. Wow. And <laughs> We're not sure exactly what all the purposes are, but it might be just to attract the other the other animals. So oh, wow. it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, what a really cool animal. That was really fun. And they ate a lot of the treats that we made them from the small bottles. That's but right. Didn't we make big bottles too? We did make a big <gasps> bottle. Do you want to go with me to feed something bigger? Yeah, I'd love to see a big animal. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Whoa! So those spring box were the one that drank from that small bottle. I'm so curious what animal is gonna drink from this big bottle. That's gonna be our friend Arthur. Do you wanna give me a hand calling Arthur? Yeah! That's great. All right, I'm very excited so, to see what animal Arthur is. So all you need to do is start squeezing that. Okay. He's gonna come running. That's a Good silly sound. All right. Arthur, where are you? <laughs> Oh, here he comes. Oh, I know what fun. kind of animal Arthur is. Whoa. All right, I'll set this down now. Yeah, Arthur looks like a rhinoceros. That's right, Flippy. He's a southern white rhino. Ooh, a southern white rhino. Whoa. Hey, Arthur. Do you hear that? He <laughs> must really love the bottle that we made him. That sounds so yummy. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, and he looks a lot smaller than an adult massive rhino. Is he a baby? He is a baby. He's a little bit over a year. So he's going to be getting bottles for a little while longer, a few months. Okay. It's going to take him a while to get as big as a big rhino. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he likes some hay. Whoa. <laughs> Arthur is so cool. And that was really cool being able to help feed Arthur. <laughs> <sighs> I'm getting kind of tired though. <laughs> wow, rhinoceros is so cool. Oh. <sighs> 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 
Whoa! Wow! What a great morning this is! <laughs> wow! And what a great night that was! I slept so great! Yeah! Now I'm very well rested! Whoa! And wasn't that fun at the Roaring Store? Yeah! We learned so much about animals! <laughs> I love animals! Yeah! Big animals! Small animals! Yeah, I love big and small animals. It's so cool how some animals are awake at nighttime. Huh, yeah, while I like to sleep at nighttime. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa! There it is again. Wow, that sounds like an animal for sure. You know what kind of animal that is? Hmm. Sounds like a kitty cat. <laughs> meow. Meow. <laughs> but it definitely sounds bigger than a kitty cat. There it is again. Whoa. Okay, it's a cat, but it's really big. It has a big mane around its head. You know what animal I'm talking about? Yeah, we're hearing a lion. <laughs> Do you want to act like a lion with me? <laughs> oh, there it is again! Yeah! Wow, this was so much fun. And weren't those stories really good? <laughs> yeah! All right, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B L I P P I Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye bye. Yeah. Whoa, Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, this place is so green. They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bai, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye. I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure. Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice dog just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, bye. You really helped me answer my question. What 
kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Hello, friends. It's me, Blippi. Today we're visiting animals. Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're going to see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow. Oh, whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go. <laughs> whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. Yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice path. Okay, ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top, yum. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some Good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container 
and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. is Dave, and Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa! Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum! I like bananas too. Whoa! Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa! Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she, because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf. But if it was a guy, 
he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet, and look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice, and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> What are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> Wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> Well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. Look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole. Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. 
this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> okay, now watch. we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <laughs> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts in other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Bye-bye! <laughs> Keep digging! I'm going to the zoo Would you like to come too? So many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea The zoo is the place to be I see flamingos Wow, they are so pink I see a tall giraffe Did you know that their tongues are black? I see a giant lion He has a great big mane And I see elephants They use their trunk to drink up water and I see a zebra His stripes are black and white And I see meerkats Look at them stand on their hind legs And I see a camel Look at the big old hump on his back And I see big tigers Their stripes are orange and black I'm going to the zoo Would you like to come too? So many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea The zoo is the place to be I see an antelope With such pointy horns and I see some ducks swimming in the pond going quack, quack, quack. And I see lizards with beautiful skin and long, long tails. And I see snakes, look at how they slither and hiss. And I see monkeys living in the trees swinging all around. And I see hyenas They look like dogs but a bit stranger And I see a warthog A wild pig with big old tusks And I see a baboon A cool looking monkey with a big red behind I'm going to the zoo Would you like to come to? So many animals to see From the land, the sky and the sea The zoo is the place to be I see a chimpanzee Looks pretty similar to you and me And I see a gorilla The biggest primate in the whole world And I see a parrot Oh my goodness, such a colorful bird 
And I see a vulture, such big wings and a powerful beak. And I see a tortoise, just like a turtle, but a whole lot bigger. And I see alligators with big brown snouts and lots of scales. And I see crocodiles like alligators but with pointed snouts. And I see more monkeys having fun swinging branch to branch. I'm going to the zoo. Would you like to come to? So many animals to see from the land, the sky, and the sea. The zoo is the place to be. I see an otter. He kinda looks like a wet, fluffy cat. And I see a lemur with yellow eyes and a black and white tail. And I see bats. Hanging upside down using sonar to see And I see a rhino Look, he's got a great big horn on his nose And I see a polar bear The only bear with bright white hair And I see some penguins Waddling around diving into the water And I see even more monkeys so many kinds, I can't count them all. Jeez, there's so many animals. I really love the zoo. Woohoo! I'm going to the zoo. Would you like to come to? So many animals to see. From the land, the sky, and the sea. The zoo is the place to be. Those ducks floating in that pond! Exactly, Debo! There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea! Let's go ask that one! I'm gonna need duck feet and wings! Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky, ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a ducks do paddle with their feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa, is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? 
duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah, it's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah, this is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <gasps> I am so excited, come on. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. Oh, and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> Whoa. Look at it, it has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding in the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, my name's Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the safari park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well, we are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can we sit inside? Yeah, definitely, let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah, so keep us dry and away from the sun. And so many seats. Woo. <laughs> we're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Special safari gear? Whoa! Safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> Look, we have binoculars oh, for seeing really far away. Woo! <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> and hmm, don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent, you look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. <laughs> you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> Oh, they are giraffes. <laughs> and they are so cute. <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari. <laughs> hmm, do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small. Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Oh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's gonna keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa, <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty and so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that 
That's a really cool word. What's an ossicum? Well, think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow. Those ossicums are pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah, they have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh, hmm. hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well. And eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh, <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh, hello giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Whoa, they also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals. Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> you won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at him. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe-eared oryx. Whoa, fringe-eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their heads. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa. And look, they have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Hmm, they're so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these orcs run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of orcs. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. <laughs> That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Whoa, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello! <laughs> oh, these orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking! <laughs> Hey, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? Uh, you're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa, <laughs> why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. 
Hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Philippi. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh. Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they got to eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wow. They sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah, they're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs. It helps <laughs> with sunblock like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't oh. need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, get dirt, dust on their back. Kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. Yeah, no problem, let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey. Do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal and they can run up to 70 miles per hour <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah, let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. So excited to see the snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? Uh, this is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Oh, this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold? <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he does. He sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got snack for that day. Woo! <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer. <laughs> How's it going? Hello? Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa, he keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa, but this snake is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> what type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Oh, that's a great question, but you know, pythons are generally found in the old world. So Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. 
Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do, yeah. This predator is a constrictor, so he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a, a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters, but we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife care specialist. <laughs> like my good friend Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow. Hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> well, it's a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye. <laughs> Hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> We saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? One of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow, I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. Okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Whoa. Whoa, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa, did you see that? Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. <laughs> Whoa, so beautiful. Well, right now we wanna wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal, <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi. But we need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. <laughs> hi. He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> Get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Wow, Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? well they see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow, that is one amazing bird. Well. We better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bopi. I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. 
we saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal, I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Uh, well, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. OK, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. That's amazing! Marco, what kind of animal was that? Oh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lantern falcon, both found in Africa, and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big. <laughs> come on. Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa, her feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm, do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah, just like the snake. Yeah, look, hmm. this little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime, help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> yep. Well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one to share with you right now. Oh, wow, yeah. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Oh, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big <laughs> and colorful. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa, a uh, West African? Whoa, wait, can you see that? <laughs> oh yeah, East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name, <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa, and what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers, so they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying, she's got feathers to keep her warm, she's even got feathers to attract a mate, but those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. 
Wow, <laughs> a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals, and she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department, and she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. Yeah, no problem, Blippi. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. <laughs> it feels like we're in the jungle. Woo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa, you see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> Look, he's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> this tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah, tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food and teeth that help chew the food. <laughs> Woo! It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, maybe he's not going to eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa! Look at him walk! Whoa! <laughs> he was moving really fast! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals! <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus! <laughs> We're gonna find him! I just know it! Look at who I have here. This is Bee, <laughs> and Bee's my friend. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, Bee is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Ruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa, <laughs> look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet. And they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet. And a really big toe. Yeah, they have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa. <laughs> You want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want some lettuce? <gasps> mm. Took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. <laughs> I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Hey, Bee, do you want another treat? Whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah. And they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They got to be around here somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Look at what it is. They're Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies. <laughs> they're kangaroos. Mm -hmm. They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go see if they want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey. Do you want a tasty treat? Some gruya. Hey. Isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah, you see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger, and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa! That's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah. Or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't want to get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa. They're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs. <laughs> Whoa, and that's where little joeys, hmm, baby kangaroos, like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch. Whoa, <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. Oh, isn't that so yummy? <laughs> really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was so much fun getting to see some Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's a platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa, and look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, he's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello. Ooh, 
We made it outside. That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Look, a bird flying at night. Huh, it's a bat. Hmm. I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Devo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark! I can show you! But one thing, Blippi, no headlights! Got it! Let's go! Whoa! It's so dark! Twigs! Crunch! Look out! Whoa! Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah! I can hear everything in my way. Heads up! Rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too? Because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it! Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echo location! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. You sleep upside down? Whoa! Bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. We are at Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. And today, we are going to see some awesome animals. Let's go! Got my member's card. All right. OK, come on. This is going to be so much fun. Yay! Here we go! Hey, this is Cindy. And what do we have here, Cindy? That is a Pacific herring. Ooh, and we are about to go feed some penguins. Mm -hmm.
did you see how we walked up really low? You gotta stay low so then they don't get scared. So what kind of penguins are these, Cindy? These are Magellanic penguins. Ooh. A lot of people think that they need ice and snow, but these guys live in Argentina and Chile in an environment that's very similar to here. Ooh. Argentina and Chile. And so they love to swim, it looks like, huh? They do. These guys spend all winter out at sea and they can swim really fast and they have to swim really fast so they can chase fish, which is what they eat in the ocean. Ooh, like these. what it is. It's a polar bear. And polar bears are the color white. That polar bear, yeah, his name is Boris. And he's 31 years old. Boris was rescued from a circus, a traveling circus in Mexico. And it's really important to have ice so polar bears can hunt off of and get, get seals in the Arctic. So we should be really aware of what we do to our planet so polar bears can have a lot of ice. That is? Yeah, that's a tiger. Meow. That's a really big kitty cat. <laughs> that's actually a Sumatran tiger to be exact. And there's only about 300 left on this entire planet in the wild. So here at Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium, this tiger is an ambassador. So this is Sarah. Hi. And Sarah, what do we have here? This is Gonzo, and he is a tree climbing anteater. And here at Point of Zoo and Aquarium, we're training him to be part of our Wild Wonders Outdoor Theater show that's Ooh. brand new this summer. Hey, Gonzo. So what are we yeah. gonna, yeah, what are we gonna be doing right now? You're gonna help me train Gonzo to eat vanilla yogurt Ooh. from a tube. Okay, so, so this is something that he will love to do. Hold okay. that up, Hold right it. up to his little nose. Okay, here and I go. And he's gonna slurp that vanilla yogurt Ooh. right out with his super long tongue. Whoa. Check that out. Look at Gonzo's tongue, it's so long. Now, of course, in the wild, Gonzo would not eat vanilla yogurt. He would eat ants. And he has really big claws that he can use to break open ants' nests and termite bounds, and then he'd use his long tongue to slurp those bugs right up. Ooh, yum, that looks pretty tasty. Yeah, so Gonzo has been around people his whole entire life, and when he first came here, we started training him to be part of the show. So that's why he's so comfortable hanging out yeah. with us out here. Yeah, he seems like a really great and fun anteater. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making some diets for the meerkats. Meerkats? I love meerkats. What else are you going to do today? Well, you know what? I was going to do some enrichment. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Excellent. Let's so, go over to the exhibit. Okay. And what's enrichment? Enrichment is 
giving our animals choices, things to do, things to play with, kind of like kids on a playground. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like playing. So let's give them some choices. Okay. Let's put these wiffle balls okay. in the blue pool on exhibit. Okay. All right. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Got it. This place. This is the exhibit from the habitat of where meerkats play. Whoa. <laughs> okay, anywho, back to it. Wiffle balls, blue pool. Right. Okay, let's put these in here. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun to see the meerkats play with these wiffle balls that we're putting in here. Okay, and the second one. Hey, here we go. Let's see what else she wants us to do. Hey, here you go. Thank you. What else do you have well, for I've us? Well, I've got some more fun toys. Let's put these out on the exhibit as okay. well. Okay. Where should I put these? Wherever you want. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Where should we put these? Here, come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's see. I think the yellow one should go. Oh, do you see this? Let's put it right there. <laughs> And then, ooh, come back here. Let's put the pink one right, let's do this one right here actually, right next to the yellow one. And the really big red one, let's put over here. Here, I'll meet you over that way. <laughs> it's like I'm a meerkat, watch. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Come on. Okay, is that all? No, Blippi, let's oh, take okay. the fun up a notch. Let's add some food enrichment to the toy enrichment. Ooh. Here's some mealworms. It's like chocolate for meerkats. Ooh, yum. Look at this. Ooh, yum. So where would you like me to put this? You know what, let's sprinkle some in the wiffle balls. Okay. And if you want to put some elsewhere in the exhibit, you can do that too. Okay, it's kind of like a search and find. Because <laughs> we'll put some right here and then we'll hide some for them to find it, okay? So, spread out the wiffle balls and let's sprinkle some on top of the wiffle balls. Wee! <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit more. Let's put some right on this ledge. Mmm, those look tasty. Okay, let's just put the rest in here. All right. I think we're ready. Are we all done? Great job, Blippi. Let's let him out. Okay. is a dromedary camel, and his name is Winchester. <laughs> dromedary camels are found in Africa, and if you're three years old and 36 inches or taller, you can ride camels at Point Defiance Zoo. They're really soft. Wow. We are in the Marine Discovery Center. In this place, has amazing sea creatures and we can actually touch them. See? You can touch but with only one finger, okay? Whoa, look at these right here. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, and look, here's a snail. Hello. Hi, little guy. And hey, little girl. Hello. Whoa. Oh, oh, look at this over here. One finger. Woo! Did you see it? it? Like attached to my finger. Here, get a really good close. Oh, look at how big this one is. <gasps> okay, ready? Woo! Wee! Oh, it attaches to your finger and it's so soft. Oh, last but not least, starfish. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! They're really hard. So cool. 
And these are actually alive. They're real sea creatures. <laughs> they don't move very much, but they do move. Really slow. I really love the Marine Discovery Lab. <laughs> Carousel, come on! Hey, horsey! This is gonna be so much fun! See? It's a carousel! And right here, this is the instrument panel that turns on the carousel. And I got the key! <laughs> okay, let's put in the key right there. <laughs> and... one of those today. A zebra, did you see the zebra? Oh, a pig. <laughs> Ooh, tiger. Ooh, an anteater. Okay. Now I think it's time for us to ride the carousel. Come on. But first we need to pick our favorite animal. Gotta wait for it to stop. Come this way. Wait, the zebra. Hmm, I don't know if I wanna ride the zebra. Let's see what else. A horse, a polar bear. Hey, horse. So much fun. Okay. This animal, yeah, is a poison dart frog. And I am going to ride this animal. Gotta buckle up first. And once I'm all buckled up, oh, gotta loosen that up a little bit. Oh, all right. I am ready to ride. Here we go. See, we spin around and around as well as go up and down. Whoa! Hey, horsey! Whoa! Look! This poison dart frog is the color yellow. You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing, and we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might, whoa, bounce in. Wow, what a spectacular jump. Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea. We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the Outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi Rooney, it's me Blippi. And this is Debo. We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet you. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. 
You up for a little rice, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right. Let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> and the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Whoa. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! <laughs> yeah! That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. Whoa, this is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. See that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Ooh. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. 
Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Ooh. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a fee, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa. This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is. Oh, he's 66 years old. Whoa, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look, the tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa, okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa, hello, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa! Hey, do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. Oh, oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! Good job. Oh, you dropped it. Hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Open wide, here comes the carrot. Whoa! There you go. Is that yummy? Hey, tortoises like carrots, just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. 
Whoa, you have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch. See, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild, they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them. And this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no! Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go. Run free. Oh, look! An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go, uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah. It is kind of hard, and it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right, here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa, okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay. And they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woohoo! So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They have shrimp and smelt, so you can take a couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay, check out the food. Whoa, looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay, ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it! Look, it's gone. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can. Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they sucked the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa! <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa! Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer Whoa. as they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yeah. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> But that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh, whoa, whoa, there they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all of these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Whee! Whoa! Hey! Look! I'm on the hump of the camel! Whoa! This is a nice camel! This is a dromedary camel! It's really high up here! Whoa! <laughs> I'm having so much fun! <laughs> Wee! Hello! Whoa! Check it out! See the hump of the camel? They store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! It has 
has some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the Native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> But actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? Oh, <gasps> okay. I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Whoa, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that. And they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay, I'll keep these right here. Okay, yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa. Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! Whoa! This is awesome! We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah! A horned lizard? That's cool. Okay. Just like. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look, this is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow, <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome, good job, let's go. Hello, oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Ooh, an elephant. Whoa, look! 
This is a gorilla. And some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Hey, everyone. It's me, Blippi, and I'm with my best friend, Mika. Hi, everyone. We're at the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Yeah. And it's actually nighttime, and this place is closed. Yeah, but we got special permission to be here at night. Yeah. That gives me a great idea. Right. Let's have Night at the Aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Hi, Bobby Mika. Have fun. See ya. Check it out! It looks like a spider crab. Yeah, it looks like a giant red spider, but it's a crab. Yeah! And check it out, Mika. Looks like it has some claws. Yeah, pictures. <laughs> it also looks like it's looking right at you, Blippi. Whoa! Hello! Hi! Hey, my name's Blippi. Hi, What's your Mika. name? <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe it doesn't have a name. <laughs> have you ever seen a crab walk on the ocean floor? Yeah, they walk sideways. Yeah. Will you act like crabs with us? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Woo, woo. <laughs> woo, I like being a crab. Ooh, me too. <laughs> wow. wow. Check it out. They're so pretty. Yeah, do you know what they are? Yeah! And look, they're the shape of a star! Yeah! That makes sense. <laughs> Shall we count how many points it has? Yeah, let's do it! One, two, two three, three, four, five! Wow! Looks like they're just stuck to the rock like yeah. this! <laughs> they seem to really like it. They're all hugging this rock. I like acting like a sea star. <laughs> Just like it, <laughs> That's silly. Well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at this big tank. Wow, you're right. <gasps> so much water in here. Whoa. Whoa, check it out, Mika. Fish. Wow, they're all swimming together. Yeah. Here they go. These are yellow tails. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> If you look really close, you see that their tails are yellow. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many of them. Wow, I think they like us. They yeah. keep coming over. <laughs> Do you know what a big group of fish is called? Yeah, a, a school. school. Cool. <laughs> Hello. <Whoa>. Whoa. <gasps> Mika, look it? way over here. Come on. Do you see what it is? Wow, sea otters are so cool. Whoa. Wow. They're in the water. Hey. Wow. They can swim in the water and be on land. Yeah. And their fur is really, really dense. Yeah. Oh, look. They're snuggly. Oh, they're so cute. Hey. I wonder if they're best friends. Like us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their hair is so dense. Actually, it's fur. Yeah. yeah. There's about a million pieces of hair in about that big of size. That's super duper furry. Yeah. <laughs> that's equal to about all the hair on an average sized dog. Wow, that's a lot of fur. Yeah. Whoa. 
They like to dive down and find their food, things like shellfish, crab, clams, yeah. sea urchins. Yep, and they'll bring it up out of the water onto a rock and hang out and eat their food. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see how their front hands kind of look like hands, but their back feet, yeah, they're actually kind of flippers. Yeah. <laughs> so then they swim with their back flipper feet. Yep, <laughs> it's like flippers in the back and paws in the front. Yeah, check them out. <sighs> well, there it goes. Whoa! Wow. Check it out! They're so tiny! Yeah, teeny tiny jellyfish! Yeah. Wow! Look at them go! They're just swimming like this! Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah! I've <laughs> never seen them this small before! I know, they're so small! <laughs> oh, and look over here, Mika! Whoa! Wow, these are a little bit bigger! Yeah, we can call these medium sized jellyfish! <laughs> That's right! Wow, look at their long tentacles. Whoa. Hello. Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> Whoa, Mika, look. Wow. Big jellyfish. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Jellyfish are so cool. They don't have hearts. They don't have brains. But they need to eat food to survive. Yeah. They're living creatures. That's right. Wow. That is so cool. And if you ever see a jellyfish, you want to make sure not to touch it because they sting. Yeah. Wow. Oh, hello. <laughs> and do you see the brown tentacles? Looks like hair. Yeah. That hair tentacle looking type of things, that's what actually stings you if you touch it. Good thing this is glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, see you later, jellyfish. Wow, pretty. <laughs> so we saw small jellyfish, mm -hmm. medium-sized jellyfish, and big jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, uh, look over here. Oh, come on. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, look at that. Hey. Hello. I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a puffin. Wow. Whoa. Hi, buddy. Look at him just floating on top of the water. Yeah. Oh. See you later. <laughs> Puffins are super cool because they can dive down into the water and catch a lot of fish. Yeah, 10 fish is pretty normal for them to catch in one dive. Yeah. yeah. And do you see those rocks up there? Yeah, that's where they live. Yep, see, all the way up top, they're just hanging out together on the rocks. Yeah, yeah if there's a cliff next to water, might find some puffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, puffin! Hey! Whoa! Their beaks look so cool! Yeah! Whoa! Check it out! So colorful in there! Yeah, it's a coral reef! Yeah! <laughs> Do you see all those fish? They're so colorful! Yeah, there's a Oh, look at that one right there. It's just yellow. Yeah. So yellow, it looks like the sun. Yeah, it's so bright. <laughs> Woo. Oh, Flippy, I bet you'd like that one over there because it's orange, one of your favorite colors. Oh yeah, you're right. And there's white stripes on it and black. That one looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And that one right there, yeah, it has a blue body and a yellow tail. Oh. Whoa! Ooh. Do you see any other colorful ones, Mika? Hmm. Oh, I see a black and white one coming this way. Oh, yeah, black and white stripes. Yeah, almost like a zebra. <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Ah. Ooh, and look at that one right there. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, a blue body <laughs> with some black and a yellow tail. Wow. wow. There's so many colors in here. Yeah. So colorful! <laughs> Look at this! These are some of the teeniest, tiniest frogs I have ever seen. These are poisonous dart frogs and can typically be found in the rainforest. Do you know what color that is? Yeah, it's like a red-orange. 
Poisonous dart frogs come in so many different sorts of colors, and their bright colors tell animals and people to stay away because they're really poisonous, but they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I think there's some more over here. Come on. Wow. These have white stripes down their back. They look so cool. They're poisonous because of the poison in the food that they eat. <laughs> you have to stay away, but wow, they're just really adorable and fabulous. <laughs> Mika, look! <laughs> Check it out, more frogs! Whoa! These are magnificent tree frogs. Whoa! It's the color green. Yeah! That's called camouflage. It blends in with its environment. Yeah, do you know what is green in here? Yeah, leaves! Whoa! So then other animals can't see those frogs. So cool! <laughs> Ooh, and look down here. These are Mexican salamanders. Yeah, also known as oxalotls. What a silly name! Whoa! Hello! Yeah! They're typically darkish, greenish, brownish in the nature? Yeah, so then they blend in to their environment, just like those frogs. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Whoa, wow. check it out. Yeah, it's an octopus. Can you see it? Yeah. Whoa, octopuses have eight arms. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> we, together, have four. One, two, three, Four. Whoa, times that by two, and then you have eight. Yeah, can you imagine having eight arms? Whoa, that'd be so cool. Yeah, and octopuses have little suction cups on their arms so that they can taste wherever they go. Yeah, and it sticks to things. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and octopuses can actually change color and texture. That's called camouflage. Yeah, and they're also really, really smart. <laughs> yeah. And did you know octopuses, their mouths are actually beaks. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. It looks really white now. Wow. It's hard to see back there. Yeah, it's oh, changing it's colors. Oh, hello, octopus. Hi. Whoa, take a closer look. Bunch of sharks! Yeah. Wow! But I actually heard that we can get in! What? Yeah! That's so cool! Shall we? Yeah! Okay! Whoa! You need to be very careful! Do not step on any of these sharks! Excuse us! Excuse us! Woo. Ooh, it's a little cold and chilly! Whoa! Wow! Yeah, these are shark jaws. Yeah. And look at all the teeth. There's so many teeth. Whoa, hello. For sharp. Yeah. Whoa. Are they sharp? Whoa, yeah, they are. Look at this really big one. Whoa, Mika, cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. And this shark jaw. Yeah, the teeth are really small. This jaw is actually the same type of sharks in here. Yeah. So cute. Much <laughs> smaller than something like this. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this. Bet you can't guess what shark this comes from, Mika. Ah. Uh, it's one tooth, and it comes from a shark that's really big. It's a really great shark. Oh, the great white shark, Flippy? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look how big that tooth Ooh. is. No! <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> so silly. Wow. Yeah. So, Mika, we can actually touch these sharks. Whoa. Yeah. I wonder what they feel like. I know. I'm so excited. Oh. Hello, shark. Hello. Hello. Come here. Are you ready to get pet? Ooh. I think they're a little shy. Oh, here's oh. one. Here 
one comes. Come on over. Oh, yeah, I did. What are you feeling? It actually felt a little rough. Oh. Uh, the skin of these sharks feel like sandpaper. Oh, it's so rough. Whoa. Oh, here's one. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, here's one for you, Mika. Here you go. Whoa. Oh, it's rough. Not smooth <laughs> at all. Nope. <laughs> hey, come check out over here. Here. Yeah. Whoa. Get out nice and safe. Hey. Then Whoa. go right over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Check it out. Whoa. A Ray. Bunch of rays. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Look at them. Whoa. Hey, Ray. How are you? Hi. Whoa. <laughs> Shall we get in? Yes. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! So in here you want to shuffle your feet so then you don't step on any of the rays. Yeah, good idea. Ooh. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Look right over there, Mika. Is this food for the rays? It is! Whoa. Special surprise! It's a <laughs> Yeah! Ooh, and is there another one? Yep, this is oh. for you. Oh, thank you so much. And this is for me. All right. So how we feed them is we just toss it out. Look at this. Ooh, <laughs> some fish in here. Yeah. Anybody hungry? Looks like some shrimp. Ooh, check it out. Wow. Want some food? Looks pretty yummy if you were a ray, huh? <laughs> Whoa, here they are. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Nighttime snack. Yeah, here you go, rays. Ooh. Actually, we can touch them too. Really? Yeah. What do you feel like? Oh, oh. you tell me. You want to do two fingers along their back. Okay. Nice and soft. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, hey, Ray. Whoop. Oh, here's one. Hello. Hi. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Cool. Oh, looks like you gave me a high five. Cool. It actually kind of feels like, let's see here. Oh. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> yep, I felt that one. Yeah, different than the sharks that were really rough. Yeah, these are really smooth and I slippery. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. 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 <laughs> so silly. Whoa. Wow, now they really want to eat. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, diamonds. Yeah. yeah. And they flap their wings. <laughs> oh, he's trying to eat my foot. <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, what a great night at the aquarium. Yeah, we saw so many cool animals. Yeah, like those adorable sea otters. <laughs> and those jellyfish. <laughs> and the octopus. Whoa, with eight arms. Yeah. Wow, and those crabs. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, so many <laughs> underwater creatures. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Wait a second, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll show you. N-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Mika. <laughs> so cool. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a great night, Blippi and Mika. Thank you. you See ya. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. Blippi.